So far, the details are kind of slowly emerging, but it's still quite murky. Um, as you said, the tankers have been evacuated. The crew appears to be safe, uh, and yet those ships are on fire. Media reports from the region have been showing some of those images of, of some of the ships uh, on fire. What we did initially hear was some press reports from Iranian media actually itself reporting the incident, followed by the United Kingdom's maritime trade operations, part of the Royal UK Royal Navy, said they were investigated. The US uh, Navy's fifth fleet, of course, based in the region there, based out of Bahrain, also said uh, that they were investigating the reports and that they'd received distress signals. One of those ships uh, did confirm the manager of the Kakuka Courageous uh, was sailing between Saudi Arabia and Singapore carrying uh, methanol. It confirmed that it had been damaged as a result of a suspected attack. Now, the location of where these suspected attacks took place. That's what's really interesting. Straits of Hormuz, about 20 miles wide, uh, carries 40% or 40% of the world's uh, crude oil shipments pass through those straits. And they sit between Iran on one side and the Arab Gulf states at the other. And that really is why things are so tense there.